Hello everyone, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to convert text or string values to numbers in a pandas data frame. Sometimes when we import data into a pandas data frame, we get string values instead of number values. In some cases, it's easy to convert them. And in other cases, it might require a bit of tweaking. We'll take a look at how to convert a string into a number data type in both scenarios. I have a Jupyter notebook open here, and I'm going to run this code to generate a data frame with a string values. Feel free to grab this in the description below if you want to test it out. So here, basically, I've created nine lists using a list comprehension. These are list comprehension. In case this looks confusing to you, let me rewrite for example, the first one uh, for you. So hopefully that will be easier to understand. So basically this means I'm going to start with a new list. I'm um, just call it list 10 equal to empty list for I in range 10 and 30, which is the same as um, this one here. And it's going to be L10, so append, and it's going to be this here. Oops, missing the end quote. All right, so let's take a look at L1. So we have uh, 10, 10, 10, 11, 10, 12, all the way to 10, 29. And notice how there's a quote around these values. L1 is actually a list of uh, string values. Also take a look at L10. This is essentially the same list as L1. So a list comprehension basically can be rewritten in this way. It's just a kind of loop that we can write in Python with just one, one line of code. Sometimes it's very convenient while um, in some cases it can be confusing. And then I put these nine lists into a data frame called DF. Let's take a look what's in the DF. So essentially all these values, they all look like numbers, but all of them, all the columns are actually string values. For example, let's take a look at the first column L1. You probably can already tell that from here, the data type is an object, not the numbers value. If I do like this, and you're going to see that there's a quote around the number, this column is indeed a string data type. And the easiest way to convert string data to uh, numbers data is probably by using the pandas as type function. And let's use the first column as an example. We can just call df and l1, the first column name, and as type. And we know this column kind of look like integer numbers. So we can call as type int. And what we get here, this list now is the data type of integer. We have the as type integer. And of course, we also have the data type float. And we can use the second list as an example, as type float. And this will give the float data type. But we have to be careful because column two contains basically numbers with decimals. And if we try to convert this into an int, it's going to throw an error to us like that. And there's actually another pandas building function called to numeric uh, can also convert string to number values. And this function can also help with clean up the data. Let's use column number eight as an example. So this column contains string data, but some can be converted into numbers. For example, the first one, uh, 10, 10, and then 10, 12, whereas some other values, for example, the ASDF cells cannot be converted into numbers. Also note that the to numeric is a pandas method. So it's not a data frame method. So we cannot do something like, for example, L8 and uh, to numeric. The pandas data frame class doesn't have this method. What we need to do is call pandas, which is pd dot to numeric. And then we can pass in the column as the first argument. However, if we just run it like this, it's not going to work because it says unable to parse the string ASDF. And we have to tell this function to basically skip anything that it cannot parse. And the way to do it is just add an argument errors equal to coerce. Then the function will run no problem. And it basically means that if there is a, an invalid parsing, then the value will be set to an end, like these ones uh, stand for not a number. So essentially all these ASDF rows will be set to a not a number value. And then if you want to, we can clean up these an end values using the pandas replace method. So I also need to import numpy, all right? So that way I can just replace these an end values with, for example, zeros. And here we go. We basically converted column eight from string into flow data type. And we also replaced the missing values with zeros. Note that other than column one and two, all other columns contain some, some kind of special characters. For example, in this one, we have uh, this dots and this one we have comma and this one we have dollar signs and uh, this one we have uh, percentage signs. So we cannot use 
either of the as type or to numeric methods to convert these columns because these methods just simply can't recognize these data as numbers uh, due to these special characters. What we can do is we can first clean up all these special characters uh, because all these are basically just string values. Then we can use those two pandas building methods to convert to numbers. So for example, for column three, in order to clean up the dot, over here, we can use the dot str accessor, which basically allows us to access the string data instead of the pandas series. And then we can use the string method directly on those uh, string accessor. For example, we can do something like this, l3 and then str. If you just hit enter like this, it's going to tell you this is a string accessor, a pandas string accessor. And what you can do is essentially these are just the string values inside those column we can use the method replace and note that this replace function allows us to operate on the string data inside the data frame directly. We can replace those dots with an empty value, for example, like this. So here we've actually replaced both dots, so the first dot and the second dot. However, we want to keep the second dot because the second dot is actually a decimal point. So we just need to pass in an additional argument, n equal to one, uh, meaning we just need to we just want to replace the first one, the first dot. And once we have this cleanup column, we can then convert, for example, as type, and it's going to be a float. Here's our converted uh, float number data. And similarly for column five, uh, this column here, we have one dollar sign, and then we also have this uh, comma to clean up. So we just need to perform this cleanup twice. For example, L5 and str replace. Let's first replace the dollar sign with nothing. And then we can actually chain these methods like this. So essentially, once we do this, it's going to first replace all the dollar signs in front of each value. And the resulting data is actually a column, which is a pandas series. Then we can keep working on the resulting data and call the string accessor again and replace. So this time we're going to replace the comma inside the new data with empty values. And now this time we've removed the both dollar sign and the comma for every single entry in that column. And now we get a column of cleaned up string and we can then do as type and this column seems like integers, so we can just go as type int. And by doing the two cleanups, then converting the column, then we get a column of integer values. All right, if you find this trick helpful, please smash the like button. Or if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.